Good morning and welcome to day six of canned food bingo. Um, so I'm going to do the same thing I did yesterday. Um, I'm not going to bother having any breakfast straight away just because I can't be bothered. Um, still just tired from waking up so um, I'm just going to hold off and I'll probably have it on my, on my break and um, we'll see how we go because I'm not really that hungry just now anyway. So yeah I'll just catch up with you guys at break time or whenever it is I have pumped out my first can. Uh, it's about 12 o'clock so I'm going to have one of my cans. I'm not even really that hungry at all really but I'm just going to have one because I feel like I should. So I don't know, see if I get one of the rubbish cans now. I'd actually be okay with that because I just won't eat it. Maybe have it later. So, but we'll see. Let's roll. See what happens. Roll, roll, roll your boat gently down the stream. Blah, 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 blah. Right, what we got? Number eight. Number eight. So we're down to the last um, eight cans as it happens. Uh, so we've still got 2, 5, 12, 14, 19, 20 and 26 left to go. There they are there. Um, so we just pulled number 8. So that's this bad boy right here. Feels wet. Sounds wet. Mm, don't know. Let's go see what we got. I wonder what's inside. Ooh. <laughs> oh, that's something not good. Um, can't remember what they are called now. Let me pour them in the bowl for you. Oh god, they don't even want to come out. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. Kind of look like onions. Um, look, it's these things. What are they called again? It's artichoke hearts. <laughs> I've um, I've never had artichoke before, from what I can remember. So, artichoke hearts in water. Mm mm mm. Well, I guess that answers the question. I guess I'm not going to eat anything just now. I'm just going to hold off till lunch. I'm really not fussed. I don't fancy eating these. I will eat them. I'm just going to wait and have them when I've got something nice that can help mask the flavour. Because um, I don't know if I'm going to like those at all. They they smell a bit weird. Uh, so we'll just hold off for now and I'll, I'll have something else at lunch and see how we get on. Lunch time. Let's see if we can get something nice to go along with our artichoke hearts. Fingers crossed. Those fucking cartoons next door are loud as balls. Right, let's, uh, let's see what we're having. Something good, something good. Numero dos. Number two, number two. All right, where's number two? Oh, it's got a ring pull. Feels solid. Hmm, I wonder. Number two, what have you got for me? Oh, that looks brown. Hmm. Oh, that smells like curry. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I know what that is. Um, I'll get the label for you, but I'm uh, pretty sure I know what that is now. Beef Madras. Morrison's own Beef Madras. No artificial colours, no artificial flavours. Uh, it's beef in a spicy tomato sauce with onion. Lovely jubbly. Um, so that actually sounds quite nice. I'm going to have that with my artichoke hearts that I opened earlier. Because um, if those are really bogging, that will suitably mask the taste of them by just slavering them in it. So that's, um, that's the plan. And uh, I mean, I was just having a quick look at this. It's meant to be really spicy. It's got three chilies on it, but the calories is insane. Two hundred and eighty-five calories per half a can. So that's three hundred, five hundred and seventy calories. Five hundred and seventy calories for that beef madras. It's not even a big tin. Wow. I mean, it's not as much as the haggis or uh, one of the other things. I can't remember something I had on the first day. I think it was was like eight hundred calories, but. For our curry, that seems like a lot. Anyway, uh, doesn't matter, because I'm hungry and I'm going to eat it. Alright, so I've put it all on a plate to make it look a bit more presentable. I don't think that succeeded, but uh, yeah, there it is. Beef madras and artichoke hearts. I have no idea what an artichoke heart tastes like. They smell quite fragrant though. Fragrant, though. They, they smell like perfume. So I'm just going to try and break, break a bit off of one here. I might just have to use my hands. See, uh, 
See what it's like. Hmm. Apparently it's a it's a type of thistle. We get a lot of thistles in Scotland, so hmm. let's give it a bite and see what it's like. That's fucking disgusting. Oh, yeah. 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 No. Yeah, I'm not gonna eat them. <laughs> oh, that's vile. Alright, well I'm gonna have my beef madras. Um let's uh let's give it let's give it a taste. Ugh, ugh, those things are fucking bogging. I want a chunk of beef. Some doesn't seem to be a lot of beef in it, it's mostly mostly sauce, but ah for God's sake. Come on, beefy. Right, let's try a different chunk. Let's go this one. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. Beef's a bit chewy, a bit rubbery, a bit fatty, but it's all right. Sauce is nice. Very, very spicy. Mm. I think by the time I've eaten all of this, I'll my mouth will definitely be burning. So yeah, I'm just going to go eat my madras. Getting rid of those because they're disgusting. <laughs> and um, yeah, hopefully we get something nice for dinner. That lunch hasn't really filled me up at all. Um, really quite hungry. But those uh, artichoke hearts were disgusting, so I couldn't eat them. Uh, so I can't wait for my dinner, to be honest. Um, just now, I'm just going to have to eat one of these bad boys because I've still got a good bit of time before I'm finished working. Um, but once I am, I'm going straight into my dinner because I'm pretty hungry. So hopefully this uh, helps to save off some of that hunger. But it's been a bit of a long day today. I'm off tomorrow though and off Saturday, so... Can anyway, wait? Tomorrow's the last day of um, what do you call it? Canned food bingo. So I won't have to eat any more cans after that. On Saturday, I am going to eat like king. No, no stuff out of a can. It's going to be great. I'm going to order myself a nice takeaway, and it's going to be lovely. I've got to stop talking about it because it's going to make me hungry. Right, orange time. Woo! My weekend is here. Fantastic. Ah, Friday and Saturday off. Yay, can't wait. Okay, dinner time. I'm starting to get pretty hungry now. So let's roll that ball and see which two cans we're having for with dinner. Yum, yum, yum. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. Right, let's find a ball. Oh, there's one. Let's get another one. Whoop. Okay, what have we got? Number... 24, 24, and 19, 19, okay, right, oh, right, 24 is uh, this one, yeah, that's 24, no, no, that's 24, that's 26, I think, yeah, that's 26, and 19, oh yeah, well, they both got ring pulls, that one feels a bit wet. That one feels a lot more solid. So we're down to the last four cans. So that's tomorrow. Um, trying to think what we should, if we should do something special for tomorrow because there's only four cans left. So I'm going to have to eat all four of them anyway. Mm, don't know. Don't know. I'm going to think on it and we'll decide tomorrow. Tune in for tomorrow's episode and you'll find out. All right, what we got? Oh, that's something chunky. Oh, I think I know what that is. Yeah, <laughs> I've already had something spicy today, but that there is chili con carne, and what's in this one? This one's a bit wafer sounding. It's also brown. Hmm. Don't know. Soup, I think. I think. I think that's soup. All right, but we'll pour them into the bowls. I'll get the labels and see if I can figure it out. The first one was the chili con carne. So this is the Asda Smart Price chili con carne. You may remember I had this during the Asda Smart Price week, if you've seen that video. Um, you can go back and watch that. I mean, it was a bit better that time because I had it with some tortilla chips and I had uh, some cheese on it. So it was really good. I actually do buy this all the time. Um, in fact, I didn't have to go out and buy this extra when I started this uh, week. I already had it in the cupboard. So. Um, yeah, I love this stuff, so I'm going to enjoy that. I just kind of wish I could have some nachos or something with it. But um, the other one was something that I 
I don't know if I've had it before. I think I probably have. I, th I can imagine I've only ever had it when I was a kid. Like, I'm sure, like, my granny's maybe fed it to me or maybe my, my dad at some point. But this says Royal Game Soup. Baxter's Royal Game. I've, I haven't had it in absolute years, so I, I don't even really remember what it tastes like. I can't even remember what's in it. Um, what's it have? Venison and pheasant. Venison and pheasant. So, um... Pretty much, they're Scottishy things. You get quite a lot of them in Scotland. Um, well, you don't find them in supermarkets as much as you would think. Um, oh, there's even a, a wee thing. I'll never forget the story about my grandmother Ethel making this soup in her kitchen. It's the very first recipe she created, and what a soup to start on! Delicious venison and pheasant in a rich stock made it a soup of distinction. A crisp autumn day is the only accompaniment you need. So yeah, hopefully it'll be nice. Uh, so yeah, just microwaving those just now, and we'll get stuck in. There we go, there's dinner. Two bowls of slightly different coloured brown. Uh, so, this chilli, I've already said, you know, I, I love this stuff anyway, so, I mean... Mmm. Yeah, it's good. It's got mints in it and kidney beans and onions and stuff, it's spicy. It's got good flavour. Uh, I mean, it's, it's cheap. It's really, really cheap, this stuff. But it just tastes so good. Canned chilli is amazing. I I love it. I eat it all the time. Um, this one, I'm not too sure about. The Royal Game. I've never... I haven't had it in such a long time. I really can't remember what it tastes like. So um, let's, let's have a mouthful. Hmm. I'm not sure if I like that. It's edible. It's got sort of, you can taste the meat through it. Kind of tastes like a... Kind of tastes like mince and tatties. Um, don't know if you're not Scottish if you ever really have mince and tatties, but mince and tatties is basically just mince and onions and maybe peas and carrots and gravy. Or an oxo cube. Um, you put it over tatties. It sort of tastes like that. Um, and I, I don't really like mince and tatties. Mmm. Yeah, it's not great. I mean, I'll eat it because it's it'll help fill me up, and it's not that bad. It's not disgusting by any means. It's just uh, I would never go for it. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. That's the rest of my cans for today. So there shouldn't be much else to talk about. I might have another sweet claim later, but yeah, that'll be it. I'll catch up for you guys in a bit. Just realised there while I was lying in bed watching YouTube that I totally forgot to film my ending <laughs> to this video. So. That was day six, the penultimate day of canned food bingo, and went all right, I have to say. Um, the pill we got for breakfast, the artichokes, were a bit disgusting, so I had like one bite of that and I spit it out, so never going to have them again. And then lunch was all right, the madras was pretty nice, and... Um, Dinner was decent, you know, I had the chilli and the Royal Game soup I'm not, not a fan of, um, it's not really my kind of thing, but I ate it, I ate it, I could get it down, it wasn't disgusting, it just, just wasn't very nice, but the chilli was lovely, because I, I buy that all the time, so, yeah, not bad, um, and I've had one sweet claim today as well, so, oddly enough, um, today has been the day where I've had the fewest calories in any out of any of the tins, or when you add all the day the tins up. Well, I suspect on some of the other days I may have eaten fewer calories because, like on the on the pea day when I got nothing but peas, um, I ate the like two thirds of that first can of mushy peas, and then the other two I ate a couple of spoonfuls, so I, I didn't eat all of them. So yeah, I, I don't know. I'm not sure. I suppose we'll, we'll find out the impact of it when we get to the weigh-in on uh, Saturday morning. Um, on day 8 retrospective, so, hi, decent day, decent day, I know what I've got in my cans for tomorrow, and, uh, uh, yeah, should be interesting, the, the order that they come out will kind of decide what kind of a day it is, so we'll find out, but I'm off work tomorrow, so I can do a bit more things tomorrow, I can maybe go out and have a walk or something, we'll see the, what the weather's like, um, hi, that's about it.
but thank you very much for watching um, if you enjoyed this video give it the thumbs up and uh, subscribe to the channel hit the wee bell if you want notifications anytime one of my videos comes out because uh, there's two more of these to go if you haven't watched the last five days go back and watch them as well if you like and I've got a lot of other stuff on the channel and I also have another channel Snack Tube um, I upload a lot more frequently to there so if you want to see more of me that's where you'll find me um, so thank you very much for watching I will catch you guys tomorrow for the final day on the diet of canned food bingo. I'll see you then. Cheers.